We've already looked at copy and paste as one way to duplicate data within or across a Excel workbook file, but there's another method that uh, could definitely help you out and be very useful when you're trying to copy data across numerous sheets, and it's called grouping worksheets or grouping sheets. Now what I have here is I have a clean new workbook open on the screen and I've got the typical three tabs that you get when you open up a new Excel file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group these sheets and you're going to see that once I do so, once I have them grouped and I start typing and applying formatting and so forth into one of the grouped sheets, whatever I enter and do to that sheet will apply to the other ones equally as well. To group sheets, you can go down, right click on the tab of one of your sheets and say select all sheets. Once you do so, those sheets are grouped. You notice the tabs turned to the color white and up in the title bar at the top of the screen you see the word group within brackets. That means that your sheets are currently grouped. So I'm going to start typing into this sheet number one while my sheets two and three are grouped with it and I'm going to create a simple spreadsheet so you can see how the grouping can really help out. I'm going to call the spreadsheet automobile sales And then I'm going to have a, you know, a few columns here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the months of the year. I'm going to use a little fill handle to drag down and uh, input the remaining months of the year. I'll widen this column here. And then I'm going to have a spreadsheet here that represents the sales across maybe you know, four, uh, four or five states, cities and states. So we're going to start with Cleveland, Ohio, Miami, Florida. Minneapolis, Minnesota, and uh, say we'll put in uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, widen these columns here. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, put a border, apply a border around my sheet here. I'm going to use a little border drop down. And I'm going to choose to apply all borders. Okay, so far so good. Let me increase the size of the heading font. And let me center that across the columns. All right. Now I did all that with my sheet tabs grouped. And now if I click on sheet two, notice that what I did on sheet one has been duplicated. And also on sheet three. As many sheets as I had at the time and as many of those sheets that I chose to group together would all have obtained the same layout. And that includes any types of formatting, any types of text entry, formula entry, most anything you can do in a sheet when it's grouped will carry over to other sheets that it's grouped along with. Once you finish the main layout of your sheet, then you want to ungroup the sheets before you start entering data that's unique to each sheet in your workbook. And to ungroup the sheets, let me group these back again, just click on any of the tabs and then they'll go to ungrouped. They'll become ungrouped. Now you can also group specific sheets and not all of them. And in order to group specific sheets, in this example we'll group sheet one and sheet three. Click on sheet one, that's the active sheet. Hold in the control key on your keyboard and then click on sheet three. Now sheet one and sheet three are currently grouped. So if I were to add any data with sheet one and sheet three grouped, it would only appear on those two sheets. So maybe I'll add another city just with sheet one and sheet three grouped. New York, New York. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the border to that column as well. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, sheet one. Sheet two does not have that column, but sheet three, it does. So you can quickly see how you can leverage the grouping and the speed with which you can input data, lay out your spreadsheet in advance of entering any specific data by using the grouping feature.